for Inside Carolina, I'm Taylor Vipolis, and this is the Insider Rundown where I'll cover what I'm hearing when it comes to this UNC football team. The wait is nearly over. Tomorrow in Blacksburg, Carolina football is back. Not only is the team back, but it comes to town with unprecedented levels of hype surrounding the program. And tomorrow is that first test to see if the team can live up to the national attention. I know I'm not breaking any news here with this next statement. Nevertheless, in this game, Carolina has a distinct advantage at quarterback with Sam Howell. For the offense, it boils down to the question, can North Carolina's receivers win on the outside? The Hokies' MO has always been to put their corners on islands because they think their guys are better than yours, and UNC staff has had no reason to assume that game plan will be any different heading into tomorrow, especially with the inexperience they bring at the receiver position. In theory, if Carolina's receivers are ready for prime time, it's a strategy that overwhelmingly favors UNC with a Heisman favorite at quarterback, who has shown he can make every and any throw on the football field. With the adrenaline rushing from the first game in a hostile environment, the tendency for receivers is to want to speed everything up, so Carolina's receivers have to make sure they don't cheat their routes. What I mean by that is if you're supposed to break your route at 15 yards, break your route at 15 yards, not jumping the gun and trying to get out early at say 11 or 12 yards. All you do there is throw off the timing between you and your quarterback to where the play has next to no chance of succeeding. It's a group that comes to this game off a training camp where all you've heard about the position is confidence, confidence, and more confidence. Tomorrow, they could prove that. In addition, people around the program are cautiously optimistic that Choffrey Brown, who has been easing his way back into practices, will be able to at least give it a go against the Hokies, which leaves you with Emory Simmons and Anton Green starting outside with Brown and Justin Olsen ready to rotate in. Making his Carolina debut tomorrow, Ty Chandler at running back could take a lot of that pressure off the receivers with a great performance. While this will be his first game in a UNC uniform, Chandler is not new to this coming over from Tennessee. He's played at Bama, at Georgia, at Auburn, at Florida. The atmosphere in Lane Stadium will not have him shook. A lot of times you could get caught up wide-eyed in the moment when you go from your parents and some friends in attendance to a sold-out crowd of 66,000. Chandler brings that poise to the offense along with great top-end speed and the staff loves his potential as a route runner. I've talked about creativity and when you can line up Chandler in the slot in certain packages with Caleb Hood in the backfield, you're opening up a world of possibilities for a play caller. Moving to defense, when you were looking at one player who could have the greatest impact on the outcome of this game, look no further than outside linebacker Chris Collins. In fact, two weeks ago, when UNC staff started its detailed preparation for Virginia Tech, defensive coordinator Jay Bateman told Collins directly, you are going to have to play great for us to win this game. Message received. He understands how critical his role will be first setting the edge in the run game and then making life uncomfortable for the Hokies passing attack with a good rush. Let's not forget he isn't starting at that outside linebacker position by accident. The staff believes that Collins is a complete player with his abilities and he's improved year over year. That's the rundown for this week. Stay tuned to Inside Carolina for more football coverage, including what will most definitely be a busy day tomorrow, game day from Blacksburg.